You know, um, I like to talk about, I still want to stay on that, at, uh, at Christmas shit because, uh, you know, they've been blowing that, they blow that out of the water. You know, they be blowing that, oh, they be going overboard with that Christmas. You know, they make you spend all your money at them retail stores and all them electronic places and, and, uh, you be spending a gang of money on Christmas, man. Yeah. I'm, I'm trying to figure out if you say that he rose from the grave, he rose from the grave in three days, and y'all selling his resurrection. If y'all celebrating his resurrection, and it's his resurrection, why y'all getting the presents? Y'all need to answer that question. Why are y'all getting the presents? It's his presence, not your presence. So why you taking advantage of taking advantage of his presence and his his, his presence and you celebrating his day, you know, and you taking the man's presence? What kind of bullshit is that? How you take another person's gifts or presence? That's like stealing. I guess y'all used to that shit though. Y'all like to steal. Then somebody say, I ain't never stole before. Yeah, you do. Every time you buy, every time you celebrate Christmas and you buy a gift for somebody, you stealing from God. Because God said his, that was his son. His son. You stealing from the son. It's his shit. Everything in the, everything on this earth is his. You stealing. And then you praising yourself for it. After you steal. Ain't that sad? Y'all don't never think about that though. You didn't think about that. But I gave you something to think about today. Sometimes you need to think. And do some. Just do a minor investigation. And find out what's going on. See. Then y'all go. And y'all celebrate Easter. Easter. This is what y'all celebrate. Y'all celebrate Easter. And then y'all say, bunnies lay color eggs. Do they? Wow. Don't you know bunnies lay live offsprings? We, like us, live offsprings. They don't, they, they don't produce eggs. But y'all go around lying to your kids and telling them all this foolishness. All this crazy stuff. Instead of telling your kids that we going to have a day like this. And we're going to celebrate it. And we're going to make it real. But it ain't real. But we're going we gonna to have a fun with it. How about that? But you tell your kids that this shit really happened. And it didn't. But your preacher tell you. He over there lying to you. Taking your money. You gullible. And you listening to this person that's telling you all kind of stuff. He'll read the Bible. Take something out of the Bible. Then they ad lib and put his shit in there. You know, if anybody do that, you know they ain't got the truth, right? You can't put your life into that Bible like that. Because it's not real. You lying to the people. And when you're lying and deceiving to the people, that's a crime. It's supposed to be a crime. Christianity. Come on, man. Most of y'all talking about y'all Christian. You know the white people been hanging our ass and used to kill us all the time. And then put us in Christian. Make us Christians. Yeah, they made us Christian. You know why? Because we were slaves. And you believe in that shit. You ought to be shame of your goddamn self because you don't even investigate. First of all, there ain't never been no white man being the heavenly father, the one who created the heavens and earth. He wasn't white. He was black. Black man. Yeah, he was a black man. And black people can have blue eyes too. Go down to Louisiana and see. They got the black of the black with blue eyes. Green eyes, all kind of color eyes. God can make his eyes any color he want. Y'all tripping off the eyes and shit. Ain't got shit to do with the eyes. It got something to do with the truth though. See, the truth will set you free. But you keep on par parading with that lie, going around telling your kids, and then you then you know a nigga, he a murderer, a rapist, and 
He do all kind of shit. Sell drugs and everything. And then when he get killed or, or die, you want to put him in heaven. Nigga, the only heaven we have is on earth. This heaven right here. It could be heaven or hell for your ass right now. The state of mind you in. The pandemic. All that could be your heaven or hell right now. It all depends on your understanding and what you have in you. See? That's right. I, this is Keith Campbell talking to you. That's right. I'm telling you that you've been lied to all your life by your damn preacher, your parents, your great grandparents. Yeah, they lied to you. They lied to me. I'm one. I'm just like you. They lied to me. I had to find out the truth, though. Once I find out the truth, I can't keep going on with that same shit. I can't keep lying. Cause I'm a part, and then I become a part of that. I'm practicing, and I'm I'm deceiving the flock. If I deceive the flock, then guess what? I'm doomed because I ain't telling the truth. I gotta tell you the truth. Sometimes the truth hurts. Sometimes the truth hurts, but sometimes you gotta take that pill and swallow it. You know, some people can't take the pill straight up. They gotta crush it up, put it in some applesauce or something like that. Then they can take it. You gotta fake them. You know, sometimes you gotta fake. Let them know. You got to be talking to them, have a little conversation, and then kind of like gradually give it to them because they can't take it straight up. You know what I mean? The truth hurts, but the bottom line, we have to talk about the truth. Okay? So y'all remember that. Y'all hold on to that and think about it. Or go investigate and make sure that you ain't never been lying to because your preacher been lying to you forever. He been taking your money. And why are you giving a man money like that anyway? Why are you giving a man like that anyway?